okay, this is Camilla. Is she actually going to be queen? Because it looks like uh, Queen Elizabeth is setting it up. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, you can't imagine the difference it makes if you would subscribe because I know you're watching. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I've got nothing really against Camilla, but I mean, however, you know, she and Charles were cheating on their own spouses, which they married in, you know, in a church with each other. Of course, Charles was trying to deal with the antiquated uh, way of thinking of the crown. Queen Elizabeth was uh, controlling everything. I don't know. Let's just see uh, what's going on here. But now is enough. Has enough time passed that it doesn't matter anymore? Um, Let's see what you think. And let's see what the cards say. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great. You really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is, um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards, I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Uh, you'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how... Uh, she came up with this, but she came with some beautiful, beautiful artwork and all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer. Okay, Camilla. Let's find out what the cards can tell us. But, you know, we can just take a second for a little meditation, just a second. That's it. So, Camilla as queen is Camilla. Is Charles going to make her queen? That's that's the question. Will he do it? Will Camilla? You know. Let's just do three cards, just to get warmed up. Let's see, Camilla. Will Camilla be Queen Camilla? Interesting. Okay, one, two, and three. Queen Camilla, that's the question. Will that be who she is? Signifier card. Ah, Page of Cups. So, you know, cups are emotion, compassion, and um, feelings. And uh, so the page is just the least important of the royal uh, suite. You know, this is the fellow, you know, below the page is uh, the number 10. So he's, he's not very important. He is an idea. He's a message of compassion. So he's bringing to court. He's bringing to everyone else to presume uh, to see, to notice the value of the compassion, the emotion, the passionate situation he's carrying in his hand. So it, does that signify that this is Camilla just bringing this emotional issue up even? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Then the, um, oh, on the new journey. Oh, that's very interesting. This is the fool. So the fool is starting a new journey. I wonder if she will start as 
as wow. And then the last card uh, is going to be the world, the completion of a cycle or the ending of another cycle. And this is certainly in a very majestic flourish. This is almost if you're writing your signature, I am Queen Camilla. At the end, this, I'm, I'm no longer the, um, what we see, the Duchess of Corn, no longer the Duchess of Cornwall, Queen Camilla. <laughs> I can almost see it. So yeah, this is very definite. Page of Cups, bringing this emotional uh, issue forward. Uh, the Fool, this is a new journey and uh, he's happy to play a new tune. And um, and look at that with her faithful uh, pet behind her. Who is that? And then uh, with a big flourish at the end, the world. Okay, completion and beginning of completely something new and magnificent. That's amazing. So, yep, she will. Let's see. We'll know in not that long, actually, sadly. So, will Queen Camilla be left? Yeah. Will Queen Camilla be loved? What's the legacy? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six cards for Queen Camilla. We'll do a full Celtic cross, which will require another four cards once we finish these six. Okay, so Queen Camilla. What's the signifier for this? Uh, we start off with the Four Swords, and the Four Swords is, look at this, this soldier is having the wisdom to take a rest, to just wait a minute before getting up at his own peril. These are truth, justice, rules, and law, okay? And uh, so he's got some protection by his side, but yeah, this is signified as being, and that's who she's been, I think, um, knowing when to just be still. The challenge to that, though, is judgment. Isn't it always? So yeah, it's it's the judgment, it's the karma that has caught up to them for the way they behaved their entire lives, their entire married lives, uh, their entire individual married lives before. And um, uh, so yeah, but I mean, it's been a love uh, for the ages, honestly. So very interesting. So judgment, uh, because you need to know when to stay down. Uh, the base of this reading then is uh, the secrets being revealed. And I don't know, I think this is just, uh, talking to us about the actual true uh, love that they are to each other is just the big uh, secret uh, that uh, I felt like they had to keep. Uh, the past of uh, this, the eight of, eight of Wands, Wands, of course, are going to be uh, issues, plans, um, pestery things happening to you. And Eight of Wands uh, typically signifies, you know, lots of that stuff uh, coming on. And that certainly has been uh, something that she's had to deal with. And then the sky this reading is uh, the Hierophant. Look at that. So look at that. So that is the highest uh, that you can go. Um, uh, this would be the government. But in this case, I think it's the monarchy. And uh, so that's very interesting. So at the very pinnacle of her reading is the monarchy. It was always going to be this way. And then the likely outcome of this first part, we're asking about, uh, you know, how will she be thought of? Justice. Yeah. Yep. That it was all, it all came out the way it should have, you know, the karma balanced. So let's see if we can do another four cards to uh, determine how that will all end up for uh, Queen Camilla. The self of that question then is the Page of Swords. So this uh, moves on from, I thought I had a page in this, oh, that was in a previous uh, three cards. So yeah, so now with this, just this messenger of truth, okay? Uh, a little weary for the wear, this guy. So the, the signifier of this is that, you know, uh, regardless of whether she's queen, she's still gonna have, you know, a, uh, a reminder of the truth of that was. And this, we're gonna try to do like this now. Okay. Um, the environment that that uh, inkling of truth in her soul is, is with this Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords just shows you right here, you know, it's a nightmare. Okay. This, this person is just persecuted by the truth, the justice, the rules, the law. Okay. And um, so this is in the environment of this, this inkling of truth is in the environment of all the uncomfortable truths that have come before it. Okay. Then the, um, the hopes and the fears for that with the sun. Okay. This, it's a cleansing sun. It's a bright, uh, new, uh, almost new beginning. It's a big yes card. And uh, so, yeah, there's some innocence there that, yeah, maybe this, this whole thing should have been paid attention to so long ago. That's the hope of the fears. And then the final outcome for this, Queen Camilla, uh, with this Eight of Cups, huh, interesting, having to leave something behind of Im immense emotional value. 
Huh. And I just wonder, is that just speaking to her uh, surviving uh, Charles? Interesting. So, Queen Camilla. I think it's going to end up really, really well for her. It seems to me the fact is Charles is now married to Camilla and he loves her and he's loved her his entire life. And I, and I'm, and I'm, I believe the feeling's mutual. So what would you do? A lot of us have been divorced and remarried. How do we feel about that? I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.